Hey, what's up you guys? Today I'm finally going to be sharing with you my pageant series. Um, if you didn't know already, I'm doing a pageant in May. Um, I did my first pageant last year and I had a blast. I didn't win anything. Well, I did win um, Most Photogenic. Yay! Um, but there was a lot of other girls and it was my first pageant. So I did a couple of things that I probably shouldn't have done. Um, like, for instance, I oh, need to sit up straight. Um, for instance, I left um, after we had our little pageant practice. And it's a one-day pageant. Um, I left after we had our pageant practice and then I uh, came back after that and I was almost late to the ceremony and the director, the director totally saw that and, um, not that that probably didn't affect my score or anything, but it doesn't look good. So, um, today I'm going to tell you how to, um, plan for your pageant. I'm also going to tell you how to keep track of the ads you sell and, um, I'm going to show you how I keep, you know, track of everything that I need to do for my pageant in my um Erin Contram planner also um I'm going to show you how I keep all my money together and everything so um yeah also just a little bit of a disclaimer yes I love doing pageants yes I am plus size and no I am not doing a plus size pageant this is just a pageant also I'm sick today so you know. Anyway, so without further ado, let's get started on the pageant business. So, um, last year I was introduced to a wonderful pageant, um, called the Florida Forestry Pageant or uh, Duval Forestry Pageant, which is, um, the, the local version of it. Um, so there's th three, um, stages you can go to. The local, which is, um, for me going to be Duval and um, St. John's this year um, in Florida so that's like your county and then um, if you win a crown you move on to Florida Forestry and if you win that you win national you can go on to Forestry Cream uh, National Forestry um, I'm not sure but anyway um, I really love this pageant system because I don't know it just I love how I every girl to me that does this pageant feels completely welcome. I remember last year it was my first pageant ever. I was the only girl over a size maybe like eight at that pageant. Um, and I didn't feel any kind of weirdness. I didn't feel compelled to say, yeah, um, I know I'm not traditional, but I just wanted to try this. I didn't feel compelled to do that. I felt like we were all friends and it was amazing. And my friend, um, Kelly, um, if you're watching, hi Kelly, I don't know if it's okay to say her name, but just saying your first name. Um, she got me into doing, um, this pageant and, um, I think I went into a couple more this year. Um, she's done so much to help me. So thank you so much. Um, so Basically, what I'm going to tell you today is what I have learned over the course of planning. I've literally been planning the whole year. Last year, I finished that pageant. I was like, I can't wait till next year. I'm going to start planning. I need to get a better gown. Blah, 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 blah. So, um, in this pageant series, I'm going to do this today. And then I'm going to show you how to pack for a pageant, how I pack everything, how I'm going to pack everything, and how I did last year and how... It's just not, mm, 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 no, it's not good. <laughs> I did a lot of stuff wrong last year and I learned a lot of stuff. Also, um, I'm going to give credit to um, Maria Cahill here on YouTube. Um, I've watched her makeup videos and I'm going to do my own version of those makeup looks. Um, as well as... Um, I'm going to show you my dress, show you what everything I'm going to wear. I'm going to show you my suit and everything. Um, I hate my suit. I'm just going to tell you that. I, I just don't like suits. It's got nothing to do with um, that, you know, it's not a good suit or anything. I just, suits aren't my thing. It's a little tight. So, 
Maybe I should get that fixed before I show you. But anyway, um, so first let me tell you about um, everything that goes on during the pageant day. So, and everything you have to do for the pageant. So this pageant, you have an entry fee and you have um, to sell at least $100 worth of ads. And you have to, um, you have the option of doing optionals. Um, there's... I don't know, like five or six or something. Um, and I am deciding to do all three of those things. I'm also wanting to go for Hospitality Queen. Um, so that's where I sell over $300 worth of ads and whoever sells the most wins. So hopefully I'll be that girl because I'm wanting um, really badly to go for that. So um, it's kind of like a Miss Congeniality, just a different name, I guess. Um, so yeah, I've worked really hard to sell ads, so hopefully I win that title um, because I feel like it's hard, it's going to be hard to win like an actual title this year because there's only two crowns and there's more girls than there are crowns, so I don't want to take that chance, so I kind of just want to win a hospitality crown. So if you win hospitality, you get a crown, you get a sash, and you get your full ride paid to the Florida Forestry Pageant. So, um, so during the pageant day, what we do is we have... Um, an interview portion during the morning time and then after that you go straight to the high school that the pageant's at and you um, practice your little pageant dance uh, which is always interesting um, thinking back about it I'm just like oh god I'm such a bad dancer in heels so um, I got heels specifically for that this time so anyway and then after that you have um, a little introduction when you're during the actual pageant you walk up and you say your name and you walk off and um then you have a beauty portion where you do your little beauty walk and then you have an on stage question last year that's exactly i believe why i did not win this pageant my question was do you believe that society tends to forgive and forget more often than they should and I was like um I'm gonna get back to you on that <laughs> no I answered it as best as I could I kind of sounded like a little and world peace and um blah 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 and I sounded freaking like Sandra Bullock when she goes I believe there should be a stronger parole punishment for or a stronger punishment for parole violators Stan and world peace <laughs> so I was like it wasn't good so um anyway moving on so that's what happens <clears throat> so now I'm going to show you how to do the hardest part to me of preparing for this pageant is um the ads so this is my ad folder I just kind of decorated it um and this is the crown I could win <laughs> so um so inside my folder to sell ads
Okay, so here's my Erin Condren planner. Um, I'm going to change this cover out next month to be a little crown and a picture of me in my dress or something like that. Um, I did make this own my own cover. Um, video should be up by the time this video is up or maybe it'll come after. I don't know. So what I have done is I have made inserts for my Erin Condren planner with um, using little post-it note tabs. Um, for now, I'm going to go ahead and take these out so that I can show you easier. So first, I just have like a little bit of a zoom. <laughs> so now I just have like a little bit of a preface. You know, it just says Florida Forestry Pageant 2015. Um, this is basically so I can document it in my Aaron Contour Planner at the end of the year. Um, put all the inserts back in and then have like a little bit of a scrapbook kind of thing. It's like my own version of a Project Life Planner, I guess. So next I have my to-do list and on my to-do list I have written and this is important I have written wrote written I don't know that's great so smart I have written get everything on my to buy list duh. Um, order my dress fill out my application um, get a spray tan that's gonna be two days before the pageant whiten my teeth get my hair trimmed, um, practice doing my hair, practice doing my makeup, sell my ads, and there was something else that I wanted to put in on here. Get my dress altered or something like that? I don't know. I don't... Anyway, so that's my to-do list. Um, it's just like this. I have put little open bullets there where I'm going to check. Um, and it's cute. I just put like a really fancy font. I thought it was cute for, you know, anyway, and I have my, like <laughs> a rough draft of who I'm going to buy ads from or sell ads to or whatever. Um, then I have, I'm going to cover up the numbers here. I have my expenses laid out. Um, I have, I have written pageant optionals, how much the dress is going to cost and how much my spray tan is going to cost. Um, cause basically ads are like, I'm not paying for it. Other people are technically paying for that. So I didn't write that. So, um, so those are the biggest expenses. I'm not talking about little things that I need to buy. Um, anyway, also, if you don't have an Erin Condren planner, you can, um, make these inserts on just like long pieces of paper or hole punch them and put them in a binder. You know, um, especially because I have like three pages of um, what to pack. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't know. So, anyway, um, then I have a to buy list. And so, what I needed to buy, um, I needed a new pair of heels for interview. I needed, or I still need to buy a black skirt and a chambray shirt and this is what I'm going to wear um while we're doing a little practice last year I wore my suit it was hot it was not fun but this year I want to wear something that I can also wear with my shoes that I'm going to wear during the little dance thing so um that's why I'm getting that and then I needed to buy a pageant dress because last year <laughs> my dress was a very 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 wholesale and I'm not just saying like you know there's some stores that sell wholesale dresses but this to me was like out of a sweatshop it was beautiful it looked like Elsa threw up all over it but it just wasn't the best for me it was really light in color too and I'm pale so anyway I needed to buy hot rollers I already got those I wanted to get glitter spray for my hair but I Nix that off the list. I was like, mm hmm, tacky. Um, I need some Spanx. Gotta hold it in, girl. Um, I needed some sticky boobs. And then I needed to buy eyelashes. So I've pretty much bought everything on this list but a skirt and a top. But I probably won't because I already have, like, cute things to wear. So. Then I have, like, a blank page for pageant day lineup. Um, I thought that, you know... Once I get my itinerary, I could just kind of write it in, or I can make a whole new one that has the actual itinerary on it. Doesn't matter, either way. Then I have my outfits planned out. 
So I don't want to get too far into this because I'm going to be doing a whole um, kind of like pageant e lookbook. Um, so I have my interview outfit written out. I have my pageant rehearsal outfit right now and then I have my actual pageant dress and stuff everything I'm gonna wear I have included um for instance for my interview my black suit with my turquoise undershirt with black heels um my jewelry that I'm gonna wear my how I'm gonna wear my hair and how I'm gonna wear my makeup so um so basically I have outfit shoes jewelry hair and makeup so that's how you're gonna do that um then I have lots <laughs> of pages of things that I'm going to bring I'm just not gonna get into this too far because my next video is gonna be how I pack for pageants so um and you know the stuff that I use to pack it in so um I'm about to wrap up this video I promise guys I know it's long so um, thanks to Britain. Here's my different categories. I have toiletries and I have just a couple. There's not going to be much like, so I'm going to tell you these, um, just the odorant, toothpaste, contact solution, perfume, and lotion. So that's like, um, and then for hair, you know, I have all my hair stuff that I'm going to need here. And then I'm going to, I have all my, um, I have all the clothing I'm going to need listed here. I was like, what? What is that? <laughs> it's so funny. I wrote dress, dot, 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 obviously. <laughs> um, and then I have shoes, jewelry, and then I have um, all the makeup I'm going to bring. I have like a whole page dedicated to the makeup. So I have little tick marks next to everything. The blue means it's um, ready to be packed uh, because I don't use it every day. Um, so it's ready to be packed. The red means that I don't have it at all. And the green means that I do have it in stock. So, um, that's basically this. Okay, so now I'm just going to give a couple of tips, um, for the actual pageant day. And before, so I'm going to suggest that you get a spray tan two days before. So I'm going to show you right now on my Erin Condren planner how I have everything the heck was that? Everything mapped out. So, okay. So, this is pageant week, my friends. Well, not this week, but this is pageant week. So, I have on the actual pageant day. I have my dress. This is not even my actual dress. I ended up not being able to get this, but we'll discuss that in another video. Um. I have the little Smokey the Bear. Only you can prevent wildfires. Um, and then just the crown here. So I thought that was cute. So I have right here, I have on the 5th, my hair appointment, which I'm going to get a trim because mama needs one. I'm probably going to just get it trimmed to about there. And I'm trying to grow it out really long, um, but really healthy though. So I need to get trims. Um, then Thursday the 7th which is two days I guess kind of like two days before the pageant I'm getting my eyebrows done in the morning this is key you have to get your eyebrows done before you get your spray tan otherwise that wax is going to just rip all of the coloring off and you're gonna have like bright I guess that's fine because you put highlighter there anyway but you put it in the middle too and girl no so and then that night I'm getting a spray tan so that this next day I can take a shower and rinse the extra stuff off and then by the pageant it'll look great the night before I'm doing my nails and here just gonna have fun <laughs> I want everything to be planned and ready so that by the day it actually comes I can just you know um, I just want to have fun with it. So, um, what else am I going to say? Um, on the actual pageant day, I have a couple of tips just to make sure you don't have any reason to not win a crown. Um, one, first and foremost, relax when it comes to answering your on stage question. Really think about each individual word. This particular pageant system, I don't think they would mind so much if you sat there and thought about for a little while I think you know this pageant system likes girls that are smart and stuff so um yeah so I don't know um 
just take time to think about it and make sure you answer it because honestly your interview and your art stage question are the most important thing in the pageant ever especially this one maybe not miss america maybe talent's more important in that one or something like that but you need to just breathe also last year i didn't eat all day long i'm going to suggest you not eat a lot on pageant days but i am going to suggest that you eat a little Eat, eat enough to where you're not like dry eating and you're like I was up on stage and I was like I was literally shaking just like this you know you can't like fake it but it was bad plus I had high heels on so I'm gonna get to that in a second too I didn't pick my nose I was rubbing um so I'm gonna also suggest that you um make sure you're not saying any bad words not even crap or frickin or dang or sh shoot I, I, I don't know they just don't um they don't sound good I, I'm a firm believer in the fact that I don't think it you know I think women should be able to say what they want and I think it sounds just as bad coming out of a man's mouth as it does a woman's mouth but I'm also a firm believer that nobody should really say bad words even though I do I'm not even gonna lie everybody does but it just doesn't sound good so and I know that um so don't say any bad words um I know last year I think I let one or two slip out backstage which is even worse I I think I was like oh my god it's so freaking hot or it's so damn hot or something like that I don't know so just don't you know don't do that that's probably not too good also um for when you're standing on stage for crowning, I suggest you take off your high heels and put on a pair of sparkly flats or something that kind of resemble your high heels so that you're not like your feet aren't hurting and my legs were quiver quivering last year and I remember looking across the stage to a girl that was like across from me, we were all in a U and the girl across from me, she was in the teen category and she was like she went up there to win her crown and she was walking so slow she's like <laughs> it's not funny but it's just it's like that's really how you feel so make sure you have your shoes like <laughs> flat against the ground so that you can just take a breather or put like gel inserts in your heels or something but girl um I also suggest I have to do I also suggest uh, breaking in your shoes that you're going to be wearing that day. Um, also, maybe it'd be fun to make little goodie bags for your fellow um, fellow pageanteers or whatever. I don't know. That's a word I just made up. Um, that would be fun. Or make a thank you card. Um, for your pageant director for the opportunity or also um, I am making thank you cards for everybody that bought an ad for me I think it's a really uh, sweet gesture considering they just bought like you know a hundred dollar ad from you or something um, especially when it's something that they don't really know a whole lot about so it's kind of like wow they took that extra step and that was really sweet so um so that's just what I'm, you know, kind of suggesting to you. Um, also, don't be mean to other girls. Just have fun. If somebody, you know, for me last year, I was like, oh, they're all skinny, you know. Um, they look better in their dresses than me. That was the only thought that I had was, God, my butt looks really big in this dress and it's not very, you know. But when you think about it, like, don't be jealous of other girls. Like, you're just as beautiful as the other girls, and, um, you're there for a purpose. You're not just there to be a little ornament, you know? Um, my tip to plus-size girls is, um, A, find a dress that fits you properly. Um, I know it's a little bit harder to fit plus-size women than it is, um, regular-size women, um, but, Make sure you find a dress that makes you feel beautiful. Also, don't be scared. Um, it's okay that you're plus size. Um, I would honestly love to see plus size girls try for um, Miss America, which I've thought about doing it myself. Um, 
I don't know if I would ever win even the local to get into the state pageant, but I, it would just be nice to see plus size girls try for Miss America. Um, I don't know. Um, that's a dream one day because I feel like we should all be treated equally. I think we should be treated according to um, our wit and our brains and um, even just beautiful faces. We all have beautiful faces. We all have beautiful bodies too, but not everybody sees it that way, unfortunately. Um, so I'm going on a rant here, but anyway, <laughs> um, another suggestion to you is to just um, really enjoy your time. Take a lot of pictures. Anyway, um, take a lot of pictures, practice your hair and makeup a lot, and just have fun. Um, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. Sorry that it was about 30 minutes long. Um, it's okay. I just like to talk a lot about this because I'm very excited for it. Um, y'all are going to be astounded when you see how my trip planning videos are going to be. I, if you know me, I love to plan a lot. So, um, anyway, uh, that's going to be all for now. Um, and until next time. Bye guys.